got the rods out and one actually stood away there a small common when he's setting the bobbin up he must have obviously found where there was a few fish just off the back of the island so that was a nice start but set up a rod out just off the island off the lily pods one down the margin as normal but it's uh, looking good it's been a lovely couple of days water temperature shot back up again to 19 20 degrees Fishing's been very slow to be honest, but that's to be expected when the, the sun's out. But we're hoping for a good evening. Maybe even get a few off the surface later on. Did a wee hour in Willow actually earlier. Well, it turned into sort of half an hour. Um, a couple of nice fish, tench and a small carp. And just down the margins, where it saw a few churning up, just for a wee change. But I intended to do another wee while, but then a couple of boys come in for the shop, so. We had to go back to work as such, but kind of company tonight. Our Chloe's down. There she is. Set up peg 12. And we're fishing this boat station in the same spot off the back of the island. Just out here. So work the swim together and see what happens. Say hello Chloe. Hi. Got the two Titans up, it's like a nice showroom on the banks of it. It's the smaller one, Titan Hide standard, and then the XL. Both have cracks on Bivy now, but definitely the XL is a lot more room. And the panels in the back as well, a little bit of ventilation through it in the hot weather. It's looking good for this evening, anyway. It's like when the sun drops down after sort of half six, seven o'clock. The fish should come on. I'm going to be at a wee margin spot down here for Chloe too, down along the reeds for later on. She can alternate between the two. We'll see if the, the island stops producing or goes quiet. We can, we can move the rod down here. Quite a bit of bait in as well, um, as normal. I'm sure I've put a, a kilo and a half of boilies out over the island there, but again, that's split between two. The both of us and the two rods, and then some of our feed pellets. And some boilie down the margins. Let's see the uh, cereal pellets that we feed the fish, as I've showed you before. A few handfuls of those down the margins. And let's see uh, some boilies, but the island's just got boilies at the moment, 18 mils. Right, we'll see what the rest of the evening brings. We'll keep you all updated. Just kept out for a wee half hour in Willow this morning. A few fish milling about the margins, so that'll give it a wee go. A class looking wee mare. Probably about a pound. Lovely skilly one, deep fish. Oh, back he goes. No, it's just literally fishing down the margins. Just right in at the bank in here. And literally all I've got with me is a pinch or two of micros, a wee bit of ground bait dust, and a ton of sweet corn. That's it, nice and simple. And just a simple float setup, just a little pole float onto a size 12, and just a couple of shots just to sink it down. The bottom shot actually sinks the float. So it's really easy to plumb up. You know when you go off the shelf, this lake just slopes down gradually. So if you go too deep, the float will disappear because of the bottom shot. No plumbing up, no messing about. You can just sneak along the margins and we pinch of micros here and there. Pick off some nice fish. 
We'll see if we can't get another one. Chloe's under one on the surface. Looks to be a nice fish. Fed them out there, out to the right of the swim there for a few hours. Um, just kept track on pellets in until the wind calmed down a little bit. We did try a wee while ago with the float, but it was uh, the wind was carrying the controller float too quickly. It looked a bit unnatural, but I'd say the wind has now died a little bit. It's not just as strong, so I managed to get them going. Some scrap on it. Looks to be a nice mirror. And then she goes. Well done, Chloe. Tell me that's a, that's a nice fish. If you start, the uh, fish is pushing. Lovely scaly mirror pushing. Eight and a half, nine pound on it. Right, we'll get this one on hook and get a quick photograph. And get her back. <laughs> Lots of fish showing the night, lots of fish fizzing up, as you'll have seen in that time lapse. We've had five or six so far. Up to, what was the biggest story, nine and a half? Yeah. Wonder who caught that? Me. <laughs> nine and a half pound common's been the biggest. Nor mirror off the surface earlier, as you saw, that was probably pushing the similar weight. Didn't weigh that one. It's definitely, it's going to be a nice night. Susie's tucked up with Chloe. We've got the barbecue on. We're having spicy chicken thighs and drumsticks. I'm just going to go down a treat. But we've had a busy week. I've done a little bit of work to one of the pegs this week. I actually took a peg out. Made two pegs into one. So we did over here, as you can see, this new platform. I'll give you a better look at that in the morning some pictures up just starting to get a little bit tight pushing to the front of the island there were two anglers over there so we decided to make the two into one making it a double peg two anglers can fish it if they wish so we had plenty to do last week over the weekend got the topsoil down grass seed sowed hopefully that'll soon take and it'll be a week or two's time you'll not know it but Definitely the, the most of the fish have had two off the surface. The rest of the fish have all come off the bottom over the baited spot in the island. Nothing in the margins yet as such, but definitely keeping those boilies going in. We're topping up every time we get a bite, we're topping up with 30, 40, 50 boilies. And it's definitely keeping those bites coming. Good stump of fish. You can see they're showing right over the spot there. Right, we'll go and See if we can't get this chicken ready. Oh, I'll chat to you in a bit. Got 
Got myself a new head torch this week. This is the uh, Ridge Monkey one. Um, there's two in the in the range, the 150 and the 300. This is the larger one, the 300. The reason I went for it was the fact that it can be switched on from top or bottom. Doesn't matter what way around you put it on. Um, there's a button each side. Nothing worse than getting up in the middle of the night. I've done it many times. You put your head torch on and it's upside down and it's pointing to the sky and you're faffing about trying to play a fish. It's, it's, it's just a pain on the back side. So, got myself this one to try. It seems to be a good job. There's three different starter light functions. There's the low beam, medium beam, and then a, a tight beam for distance. And then if you double click, you've got the green light. Again, two different brightnesses and that. There's no beam in the green light, but you don't need it. Green light's definitely good for playing fish. Um, doesn't seem to split them the same. Which, uh, definitely you put a bright light on the fish in the margins when they're in the net or whatever, and they go, they go absolutely bananas. But the green light doesn't seem to have that effect. But um, also on the side, you've got a battery indicator. It tells you your, the, uh, the four E lights at the bottom, what voltage is left. Charges with USB at the side. Again, and up your power pack or at home, your USB adapter. Say that it's all sealed, fully waterproof. So adjustable at the back. Velcro. Uh, seems to be a good job. Good strong strap on it. Time will tell, but so far so good. So if you're in the market for a new head torch, definitely well worth a look. There's the proof of the pudding with that green light the head torch. Doesn't seem to spook the fish the same. Only you shine a standard light on there and bright white light seems to spook them when they're in the net or on the bank. Green light doesn't seem to annoy them. to the night, three or four, um, one off the island and three down the margin rod. To be honest, the one at the island I didn't really chuck. Got up and went off about half two, but the mist was so thick I couldn't even see the island. So I knew where that was going to end up. So I decided just to leave that rod in, leave the one out in the margins. I said, produce another three fish, um, pop a nice skilly mirrors. It's another beautiful morning. There's one up. Plenty of fish moving. A lot of fish in the surface through the night actually. Any time I put the head torch on, the, the surface erupted just in front of the swim. It might have been a night for the zigs, but we shall see as the day wears on. What happens? Just got a cup of tea. Everybody's trying to wake it up. But you couldn't ask for a better start to the day. Mist just clearing. And no doubt it's going to warm up. We'll try on the surface again, see if we can't get a few going. Right, get this tea, get some breakfast. And we'll see what the rest of the day brings. The first one this morning since it's got a little bright nice wee skilly mirror lovely little starbursts up its side there again that one that one came off the island just out off the back of the island so that was over quite a bit of bait as well must have put another kilo and a half out there this morning Mixture of pellet and boiler. So we're definitely up for a, a bit of a feed. So we'll get this rod out again, get a bit more pellet in. 
See if we can't get another one. Mentioned last night, it's the old peg 14 and 15, which was here on the other side. I said I decided to make it two into one. Give you space at the back for a bivy. Just made more sense. You know, this pegs now directly in front of the island, um, whereas before there were the two pegs were basically facing the sides of the island, which affected the pegs to the the right and the left so just a wee bit more space for everybody makes everybody's day more pleasurable but I said it can be used as a double it's a big enough peg once the grass grows again and the reeds come up in a few weeks it'll look apart you'll never know it was, it was a peg there I know quite a few of you asked me about taking photographs and how I do it. Well, this is using a, a camera stand. I actually got those in Christ. Um Could be stand, only twenty pound. You can come with a wee level on them. You can level them up for your for your photographs. But I actually take a video rather than trying to take a photograph and self timers and all, and going back and checking and making sure it's right. It takes forever. Fishes out of the water for far too long. Basically, I'll put my camera in the stand as I've just done, set it to record, then lift the fish out of the water onto the mat. And then it's just kiss, lift it up, hold your fish up, do whatever pose you want, and uh, then once you're done, return the fish, and then all you need to do is take a, a screenshot of the, uh, of the video. You can pick whatever frame you want pose as many times as you want in whatever position you want and then you can get the, the perfect photograph but just something that'll help obviously you want the fish out of the water for as least possible time no messing about with say self timers and going back and checking and making sure the photograph is right and all this jazz and again trying to get the fish to behave for long at the right time when that self timer is about to go off I've tried numerous bluetooth gadgets and stuff over the years but I say I've found it Using the, just making a video of it, let it record, and I say simply take a screenshot of the video. They have the baby for two minutes to go up to the shop to serve a customer and come back and find this. Hey! Not carpe. <laughs> Not carpe. This is Norman off the surface. Nor nice common. Got them feeding again, the wind's dropped away a little bit. Why does he get them going? This is recovered now, we'll get her back. Up she goes. Yeah, see, the wind dropped away a wee bit, we decided to try and service again, got them going. Just again on that, actually used the zig float instead of the surface controller. Again, just with that. I explained that in the last video. Just put a three foot hook link on it. Just a wee dumbbell pop up. And that's done the trick. But that's more or less us for an hour day. When I get packed up. Which I'm not looking forward to after all those kids. Stuff everywhere. But we'll go and get packed up. And as we get another one, we'll catch you next time. Remember, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon, I'll keep you all updated. Thanks for watching.